Y'all are not going to believe what happened here. We have an update from the Nelly versus St. Lunatics uh, disagreement. Let's just say I'm Dave, 10 year intellectual property attorney, dealing with everything from trademarks to patents to trade secrets and uh, copyright as well. So, if you guys, if you guys, first of all, if you guys haven't seen my last video where I initially was talking about this Ali and St. Lunatics suing Nelly for what it looks to be some copyright infringement of the country grammar country grammar album which is what that was released in 2000 so 24 years ago and it seems like at least at that point the saint lunatics wanted what was there they were saying that hey we had some copyrights that essentially nelly had and he didn't pay us for and it was or or or, or we own and nelly used copyright infringement it was a mess and i think you guys uh rightly pointed out in the comment section that man this this look a little interesting this don't look a little right this seems like to be a money play we're not sure if the saint lunatics going broke or what's going on but to try to come 24 years later talking about a copyright infringement put it put in aside the whole statute of limitations issues this kind of seems a little weird and hey it's a bombshell we're gonna pull up the uh, article and i'm gonna take you guys through it but it, it gets crazy it gets crazy pretty much it looks like the saint lunatics with, or at least the other three members have turned on Ali, Ali and sided with Nelly. So this is like one of them situations where says you and your boy, your homie, y'all go to you know talk to a bully. Y'all, y'all like, hey man, we, we, we not we gonna we gonna stand up for ourselves today. We tired of getting bullied by this bully. We gonna and hey, we gonna jump him. And y'all go up to him. Your you know your boy. He like, hey man, what's going on? He confront the bully. Hey, we we not having it no more. You're not gonna be bullying us. And he wanted for you to kind of step up and kind of do your thing and, and, and have his back and, and you you pretty much gone or another and, and even a worst case scenario you on the bully side at that point. This kind of seemed a little similar to that situation because it seems like now the Saint Lunatics or at least the other three Murphy Lee City Spud and I forget the other one. Look at I'm, I'm I just knew Murphy Lee growing up, but it seems like the other three are now siding with Nelly. You can't believe you. You're not gonna believe what they told Ali. If he don't do this, they're going to sue him. They, I'm telling you, man, this is crazy. Hit the like button if you haven't already, as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't. We're gonna pull up the article, this Yahoo article that just dropped. What, what is today? It dropped on October 8th, so a couple days ago. It's October 10th, Thursday, and uh, this just dropped October 8th. A Yahoo article. Titled "The Saint Lunatics Distance, Distance Themselves from Ali's Copyright Lawsuit Against Nelly," and again, as I bring it back on myself really quickly, this whole lawsuit that the Saint Luna, the Saint Lunatic sued Nelly for copyright infringement, it was to be to be honest, spearheaded from Ali. But if you recall, the other Saint Lunatics was named as plaintiffs in the lawsuit, which is interesting because they're pretty much. When your name is a plaintiff, you're pretty much second in it. You're like, okay, yeah, we we all on the same page here. Nelly committed copyright infringement, and we want our just due. And, and obviously, I played the, the 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 video that Ali was on Vlad uh, maybe a year or so ago, talking about how he wrote the, pretty much a lot of the country grammar album, and he didn't get paid. He was trying to do what's in the best interest of the group. And Nelly always said, "Hey, man, we, I got you. I got you, man. I'm a, you know I'm gonna look out for you." And that never came. And it seems like. Ali got fed up, or maybe he was on hard times. I'm not sure, but he essentially sued Nelly for copyright infringement, trying to get some money. But it seems like in a lawsuit, the other St. Lunatics were also listed as plaintiffs uh, in a lawsuit as well. Again, pretty much saying that they were all on the same page with Ali with suing Nelly for copyright infringement. You're not going to believe what happened here. As I pull back up the article, things have took a, a, a turn. I'm not sure for the worst, but they've definitely taken a turn. So this is Ali. And Nelly here, well, this was kind of back in the day when they're on good terms. So in a surprising turn of events, members of the St. Lunatics, Murphy Lee, K. John and City Spud. Look, and I just know Murphy Lee, man. That 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 uh that verse he had on uh, Air Force Ones was cool. Get yeah, what he say? Uh, I walked in Foot Locker like I need those. If you got them in ten and a half, give me two of those. I could tell she ain't never seen Murphy Lee before. That hey, that was a uh, that was the only one of the only verses I know from uh, Murphy Lee. Uh, but again, that was a hot verse on uh, Air Force One. So it seems like are publicly distancing themselves from the group mates Ali recent copyright infringement lawsuit against Nelly. So again, this whole copyright infringement lawsuit was spearheaded by Ali, but it seems like the other members were, you know, a part of the lawsuit. They were, you know, they 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 were on the same page with Ali, saying that yeah, Nelly 
committed copyright infringement and we want our, our just do our money pretty much. So the lawsuit was filed in September. So this just past month accuses Nelly of withholding royalties and profits owed to Ali and his fellow group members for their contribution to his iconic diamond selling debut album, Country Grammar. And again, Country Grammar, and that, that was that was a pretty uh solid album. I know it went diamond. That's 10 million. That's crazy. However, TMZ Hip Hop reports that the trio did not give their authorization to be included in a lawsuit, expressing their discontent over being named without their consent. Milligan, that's that that's very odd. Number one, as I told you, like the bully situation where y'all all all on the same page until you confront the bully, then based on the reactions of it, it, you know, you got the, the, the your other your other road, he ended up backing out and not only backing out, but he going, he goes to the, to the bully side and say, Hey man, I'm with you. That's kind of why I gave that example or that illustration of kind of confronting a bully again, not calling Nelly a bully, but just kind of how that, uh, the example kind of played out. And now the St. Lunatics or the other three members of the St. Lunatics are on Nelly's side. But the more important part, man, when you're in a lawsuit with somebody, when your name as a plaintiff in a lawsuit, you would think, Typically, it's some type of an agreement. We all talk with each other. We're all on the same page. You just don't go naming people as plaintiffs to the lawsuit without getting their consent or authorization. That's what is crazy about this to me is you don't typically be named as a plaintiff in a lawsuit to get money from somebody without ever talking to the person who's filing a lawsuit. At some point, and I, I would like, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Do you think that? The other three members, City Spoil, or K. John and Murphy Lee, they did talk to Ali and get an authorization or gave him a thumbs up, like, go ahead and file a lawsuit and put our names in it? Or do you think that Ali just did this, put their names in it without talking to him, without getting any type of consent or authorization, and, and he filed the lawsuit as is? It, I mean, as an attorney, it's very odd that you're just naming people as plaintiffs in a lawsuit without even talking to them, without giving, giving their authorization or their consent for being named as a plaintiff. That's extremely odd. So let me know in the comment section, do you guys think that Ali got authorization or consent from the other three band members and now they're backtracking maybe because they got some money from Nelly or because it was some backlash or some opportunities that they, you know, maybe Nelly promised them later down the line if they kind of, distance themselves from Ali or do you think that they you know again did they backtrack did they initially give authorization and now they're backtracking or did Ali never talk to these guys and he just listed them in a lawsuit as plaintiffs and now they're like hey man you didn't get authorization to take us out like I said that's very odd that you're naming parties in a lawsuit as plaintiffs or on your same side without talking to them people that's like I said that that's that's very odd to me as I'm uh looking at it but let's continue on Nelly's attorney has revealed that the three members, Lee, K. John, and City Spud, have retained him as counsel and are even threatening legal action against Ali if they're not if they're not removed from the lawsuit. And again, this is the bombshell in my opinion because not only are they saying, "Hey, we never gave Ali consent or authorization to put us in a lawsuit as plaintiff against Nelly, suing Nelly for copyright infringement," but we now re retaining Nelly's attorney, and we're saying, "Hey, if you don't remove us from this lawsuit, we're going to sue you." That's crazy. You guys have to let me know. Did they give consent? Do you think they gave consent to Ali? Now they're backtracking for whatever reason. And to the extent that you think they're backtracking for whatever reason, give me that reason in the uh, comment section. Or do you think that, man, Ali just did this all on his own. He never talked to anybody. That's weird that he naming the other group members in a lawsuit without getting some type of authorization or consent or talking to him about it. That's like I said, that, that's weird to me, but obviously it's a, it's a possibility. Let's continue on here. Sources also indicate that the other St. Lunatics members were unaware of Ali's lawsuit prior to his filing and are all on, are all on positive terms with Nelly. So they like, man, we cool with Nelly. We don't got no beef. We don't got no issues. We cool with them. To that effect, news of Ali's lawsuit against Nelly came on the heels of Nelly's recent massive publishing deals in which he sold 50% of his catalog of windfall. Some believe could have spurred Ali's motivation to engage in litigation with his former friend and collaborator. Again, I kind of was at a mindset of this seems like a money play from Ali. Okay, again, as the article just talked about, Nelly recently sold 50% of his catalog and he got tens of millions of dollars from it. And again, if you're on hard times, you feel like you've been a, this guy's most successful album came at the hand of your pen and he didn't give you nothing and you and you on hard times. I can see while 
why you uh like man forget it we're gonna sue him for copyright infringement but uh man it, it's just interesting stuff okay the controversy surrounding let's continue on here the controversy surrounding nelly and the saint lunatics has not strained the bonds within the group entirely just days before news of their request for removal of ali's lawsuit the crew had a moment of unity during Nelly's performance at the 2024 AMA American Music Awards. Nelly, Nelly joined by Murphy Lee, Kai John, K John, and City Spud, delighted fans with the nostalgic reunion, performing classic, including Air Force One's Ride With Me, Welcome to Atlanta, and What the Hook Gonna Be. The St. Louis theme set also and essentially brought out some other albums, some other uh, artists. So what do you guys think? Again, do you think Nelly is... Hey, he, he's being strategic with this thing. He's aligning themselves, pretty much trying to say, hey, man, I, I didn't do these guys wrong. And look at To that effect, I got these other three guys. We cool. I'm bringing them out on what's the name? You know, he probably gave them some money. And hey, we all on the same page. So Ali is the kind of the, the, the one, the, the, the black sheep or the one who kind of went left or whatever the case may be. So do you guys think that, again, these, these are the two biggest questions. Do you think that? The other three members were on the side of Ali and maybe Nelly flipped them or whatever reason they're backing out, they're retracting, being on Ali's side, or do you think Ali did all this without any type of authorization or consent from these guys? I don't know, man. I I, I do think that Ali, this was a money play on his side, if I had to guess uh, and get my opinion on it. I do think Ali, this was maybe a money play on his side for whatever reason. But, I mean, it's hard for me to believe that he just named them in a lawsuit as plaintiffs without talking to them at all. Again, maybe he talked to them and they didn't necessarily give explicit consent or explicit authorization, but they didn't ever necessarily say, leave me out of the lawsuit. It, it's I, I would guess that he talked to them at some point about this. And again, maybe I can be wrong, but I, I would think that he talked to them about this. He felt comfortable. However that conversation went to say, okay, I'm going to name these guys in a lawsuit and they're going to have my back. And I don't know. I think that Nelly maybe flipped them for whatever reason, maybe gave him some money, say, hey, I'm going to bring y'all on tour with me. I'm going to have y'all come out doing some shows. We're going to be a, a reunion or, you know, we're going to be a family again. And uh, I think that's what happened. Let me know if you disagree with that or if you think I'm right. And to the extent that you disagree with it, let me know what you think happened. Do you think that they gave this guy authorization and now they're backtracking from kind of being associated with him, being on the same page and, and, and whatnot? Or do you think that, Look at man, Ali just did all this without talking to somebody. I think it's crazy the fact that not only are they saying, hey, remove me from the lawsuit, but they hired Nelly's attorney and saying, hey, we're going to sue you if you don't remove us from the lawsuit. Man, I think that's a big deal. I think that's a very big deal. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Please hit the like button if you like this type of uh, content. I'm trying to bring you guys not only this uh, current events and kind of throw some entertainment in there, but I'm trying to give you guys value. This copyright stuff is extremely valuable. You see Ali. Hey, the whole, uh, you no, know, the whole issue or uh, the the thing is, hey, I wrote a lot of this album and I didn't get my just due. Clearly, if you wrote at least part of the album, you have ownership and copyright of the album. Now, did you sign that over and sign it over for nothing? That's that's a whole contractual thing, and that's, hey, you know, maybe you had a no bad uh, advice or counsel at that point. Not bad advice or counsel, but you know, maybe they got over you at that point. And if that's the case, then I guess it is what it is. But again, so this whole effect effect, this intellectual property is extremely valuable. Obviously, in this case, we're talking about copyrights. And the copyrights are valued because the copyrights last for the law the life of the author plus 70 years. So just think about this. He wrote this thing in 2020 or 2000, which was 24 years ago. And we think that man, this is crazy. This is a long time ago. But this thing will last if he owned the copyright to this day, it would it would last the life of him and then it will last another 70 years so now you can pass it down to your kids they can make money off of it obviously this stuff is still valuable if nelly just signed over tens of mil well first of all it sold 10 million records so that gives the value of it in itself but then he sold 50 percent of the catalog which i'm assuming country grammar was i would imagine a part of that for tens of millions of dollars so this copyright stuff is valuable but it's you know you got to go about it protecting it the right way and kind of doing business the right way and to the extent that you don't you, hey, you may be uh, you know, similar to Ali trying to sue Nelly for uh, essentially copyright infringement and, you know, just hey, trying to reach just to try to get some money. So let me know what you guys think in a comment section. And uh, until next time, peace.